okay this is my groove part this is my drum pattern and you can listen at it and uh, i've uh, played a kick kick heart combination that is kick heart 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 and then uh, on on top of each kick there is a pedal that i've, I've uh, played or i've arranged to bring a different sounding to bring about a better sound So I've played the drum kicks from uh, contact and uh, this the high hat uh, these are drum kick from contact I've played uh, this is from contact vintage drums and I've uh, played the high hat from uh, the funk packs under the, the 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 packs here we have a packs in this uh, subfolder and I've, uh, i chose the funk kit from the drums here so i've uh, played the high hats from the funk and of course the bedroll from the funk if i open this one you can see this is high art from a to eight and this is the high hat a to eight again and this is a, a bed doll for funk and uh, from contact this is drum machine drum tanks eh? Listen at the kicks and uh, they have been given equal velocity there is no movement in the velocity there is no change in the velocity the velocity is constant if you can look at this line and there's a So there I've decided to vary the velocity and also here I'll vary the velocity. Uh, this is about the groove that I've uh, played and in my groove the funny thing about it is that I've used just the normal things if it's contact I've used the contact factory selection out of it I've uh, just taken out the drum machine drum tasks I mean uh, drum tracks dot nki nki for native instrument eh? so That's all about my groove and the groove is for reggae. That's why we are giving it eight interval. You come here and you say feel after each eight steps. That's what I've done here. My drum is sounding after a certain eight interval. After eight intervals, the drum is the kick is coming back. 
it's a swear for those people who don't know you can play one kick you can play that kick here and keep your your loop uh, small that's the groove part and then uh, we have uh, the bass this bass i played it with the uh, hypersonic and i cloned it as a third clone because i'd used some clones for playing other things like the piano keys eh? So under hypersonic you come down and uh, scroll up to synth bases and then you scroll again down to look for the sub bass uh, until you see a sub bass is uh, when you choose it and then use it as your bass if you want to make such a beat like mine sub bass here and then arrangement this is the way I've arranged this is a fast this is a These are the keys. Okay, there are two keys, one note.
So that's all about my reggae beat and remember that uh, there is a, we say there is no man who is an island that's in the reggae family and I hope if you have a project like this or you intend in the future to become one uh, a producer for reggae this is an electronic music. I'm not playing this instrument live. I'm playing them using the computer. If you have a dream of uh, doing the same, either you are a pro producer or a beginner, then uh, you'll have uh, to maybe seek some consultation from others or you can learn still here in YouTube. You can uh, leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know how you have received this remember i'm um, between uh, a pro and an intermediate i can't say i'm a beginner but i like teaching beginners because those are the people who have more interest to learning new things eh? and they have uh, some enthusiasts who can uh, seek help from uh, people who have uh, some uh, more knowledge about this FL Studio. Still, I'm learning and learning is endless. So, if you have a file or a project or a feeling or a certain way that you want your music to be made, you can just email me or you can come direct and uh, Contact me through my phone number that is always on my social media and uh, mixes below. Wish you well and success in all your projects. Thank you.